Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet an easy Christmas bauble or an easy Christmas ornament and that's the one that you see uh, here in front of you. It's just very simple. It's uh, simply single crochet stitches and single crochet double uh, two together stitches and it is crocheted around one of these clear plastic uh, DIY baubles that you can find at many of the craft stores. I think this one cost me about $2 uh, for it. So you can find that. You can also, uh, this is a, sorry, this is one with a 10 inch diameter, okay? You can also uh, upcycle one that maybe you have on your tree and you wanna freshen up a little bit. You're welcome to use that. Or for this pattern, you may also use a little bit of fiber fill or a cotton batten um, to kind of stuff it afterward if you would like instead of using um, another bauble underneath. So those are your options for this ornament. Uh, along with it, you're going to need a four millimeter crochet hook. And then the yarn that I used for mine was the Landscapes yarn by Lion Brand. And I used it because I liked its sheen and just the way that the colors fall. You're welcome to use any worsted weight yarn. If you were using the Landscapes yarn, you will get about three ornaments per ball of yarn. You're only going to need about 50 yards. And once again, this is a worsted medium weight yarn. You're also going to need a stitch marker as we will be working in continuous rounds and a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for finishing off uh, your Christmas ornament. You can also find the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I will provide the link there in the notes for this video. So thank you so much for joining me and while you're here please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So why don't we grab a hook and uh, some yarn and one of these plastic bubbles and we will get started. Okay, now, and one more note about the yarn that I'm using and any yarn. If you're using a self-stripping yarn, such as this one with a variety of colors, one of the fun things about it was that, as you can see, I have two very different baubles, but both of them were made from the same ball of yarn. So they coordinate very, very well. The colors go well together. Um, and again, you will get three of these Christmas balls out of one ball of yarn. Okay, so I'm, I'm using the landscapes and the color that I'm using in this video is the Desert Spring. So what we're going to do for this pattern is we are going to start by either making a magic ring that you will work into or else you can start by chaining four and then joining in that first chain with a slip stitch to make a ring. So either way, whatever you prefer, I will just start with my magic ring. Once you have your ring formed, you are going to begin by chaining one and working six single crochet stitches into that ring. At the end of your six single crochet stitches, you will not join, but instead if you've worked a magic ring, you can tighten it, or uh, otherwise you can just continue working on, and you're going to get your stitch marker handy. For round two, you're going to continue working in the same direction, and working in the back loop only, you are going to single crochet work two single crochet stitches in each stitch. So if I look at the top of my stitches, and it's harder to see here because I've started with a darker color yarn uh, in this, you'll have a V here up at the top. That horizontal bar, the furthest away from you, is your back loop. Okay, so you're going to be working for the entire pattern only under that back loop. So simply insert your hook, 
under that back loop. The first one is a little bit tricky. I find it always pulls tight. And you're going to start by working two single crochet stitches uh, in each stitch all the way around. Now you're going to want to mark your first stitch and you will move your stitch marker as your work progresses, but you just wanna always be aware of where that first stitch is. So go ahead and work two single crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around. You will have 12 stitches at the end of this round. Just like so. You will not join at the end of each round. Once again, you're just going to keep going. So then for, that was round two. Round three, again, working in that back loop only, you're going to place two single crochet stitches in the first stitch. And then one in the next. You're now going to repeat that all the way around. Two single crochet stitches in the next stitch, and then one single crochet stitch in the next. Always working in that back loop. Continue that all the way around. At the end of round three, you are going to have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, you are going to work two single crochet stitches in the next stitch. Followed by one single crochet stitch in each of the next two stitches. Then repeat two single crochet in the next stitch. Again, you're working in the back loop only and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're going to do that all the way around. At the end of round four, you're going to have a total of 24 stitches. We're going to continue our increases for round five. We're going to work two single crochet stitches in the next stitch in that back loop only followed by one single crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches then repeat two single crochet stitches in the next stitch and then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches you're going to continue that all the way around. At the end of round five, you are going to have a total of 30 stitches. For round six, you are going to single crochet in the next two, uh, to work two single crochet in the next stitch, followed by one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Repeat that two single crochet stitches in the next stitch, always working in the back loop, and one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Repeat that all the way around and at the end of round six, you will have a total of 36 stitches. For round seven, you are going to work two single crochet stitches in the back loop only in the next stitch. And then work one single crochet stitch in each of the next five.
then repeat two single crochet stitches in the next stitch back loop only and then one single crochet stitch in each of the next five repeat that all the way around and at the end of round seven you will have a total of 42 stitches For round eight, you are going, this is the last of our increase rounds, and you're going to single crochet, uh, work two single crochets in the next stitch, followed by one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Repeat two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Repeat that all the way around and at the end of this round you will have a total of 48 stitches. Now for the next, uh, so this is what you should have after you've worked your increase rounds. So that uh, last round eight will have a total of 48 stitches. Now for the next 10 rounds, so for rounds nine through to 19, you're going to continue working in the back loop only, and you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Remember to keep moving your stitch marker as your work progresses and simply work one single crochet in the back loop only in each stitch all the way around. So you're going to do that for a total of 10 rounds and then meet me back here. Okay, so now at the end of round 19, you're going to have something that looks kind of like this. And what you're going to do, if you were working around uh, one of the, your baubles, you're going to take it and you're going to simply slip it inside. Now, um, I'm also going to take off the top to make it easier to work with. If you are choosing to fill this with fiber fill, you're not going to worry about stuffing it yes, yet uh, unless you choose to, but you can wait until you have a little bit more crocheted and then stuff it. It might make it easier for you to work with. But if you were uh, going to use one of the baubles, you can go ahead and insert it now. As at the end of round 19, we are going to start working our decrease rounds. Again, you're going to want to keep your uh, stitch marker in place and keep moving it as your work progresses. For round 20, now to work with it, I kind of pull out the yarn a little bit and get my fingers in behind there. Um, I find it just a little bit easier to work as I'm working with it uh, on the ornament. For round 20, you're going to continue working in the back loop only. And in the next stitch, you are going to work a single crochet two together. To work that in your back loops, you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. With two loops on your hook, you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up another loop. Three loops on your hook, you're going to complete your single crochet two together by yarning over and pulling through all three of those loops. Okay, then remember to place your stitch marker once again. And then you're going to proceed by working one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Now you're going to repeat single crochet two together 
followed by single crochet in each of the next six stitches. You're going to continue that all the way around. At the end of round 20, you're going to have a total of 42 stitches. For round 21, you're going to single crochet two together over the next two stitches. And then work one single crochet stitch in each of the next five stitches. Repeat, single crochet two together, and then one single crochet in each of the next five. So you're going to continue to repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 36 stitches. For round 22, you are going to single crochet two together. And then work one single crochet stitch in each of the next four stitches. Repeat that, single crochet two together and then one single crochet in each of the next four. Repeat that all the way around, and at the end of this round, you will have a total of 30 stitches. For round 23, you're going to single crochet two together, and then work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Repeat that all the way around, single crochet two together, and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Repeat that all the way around, and at the end of this round, you will have a total of 24 stitches. For round 24, you are going to single crochet two together, Then single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way around. And at the end of round 24, you will have a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so now at the end of round 24, if you are working around a bobble such as this one, you are then going to simply join with a slip stitch in the back loop only in that first stitch. If you are continuing on to uh, close the top completely, you can go ahead and stuff it now with uh, your uh, fiber fill and then you're going to continue your decrease round so then for round 25 you'll single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next stitch and then for round 26 you'll single crochet two together all the way around so that's if you're stuffing it with the fiber fill if you are working around an ornament just like I am you're going to join with a slip stitch and uh, the same if you are um, stuffing it when you come to the end of your round 26 you're going to join in the first stitch with a slip stitch in that back loop only and then you're going to fasten off and you're going to fasten off leaving a bit of a longer tail so just fasten off just like so when you come to the end of your ornament you will notice up at the top if you're working around one it might be a little bit loose up here but don't worry about that what you're going to do at this point is you're going to take your yarn needle and you're going to thread that long tail on and then I simply took it and wove it in and out around the top of my ornament so you're going to do the same uh, if you're stuffing it or if you're working around an ornament 
just weave your yarn in and out. All the way around. And when you come back to that beginning, you're going to pull the top of your ornament closed. So pull it together so that it is snug. Then at that point, you're going to want to fasten it off. So I just very tightly right against uh, the top of my ornament here. I did tie a little knot. Oops, sorry, I hit my camera there. And then I wove it under. Kind of hide my end there a little bit. And then trimmed it off. And that's all there is. I can stick my top back on. And that's all there is to making this simple Christmas bobble. And you can see I use the same ball of yarn for each of these. And I have three uh, very different ornaments. And I do have a little bit of yarn left over. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make these easy Christmas bobbles. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.